thousands. Uh, this is Null talking about how Romeo and Juliet is child porn. <sighs> okay. Remember Romeo and Juliet? That the movie famous with, Shakespearean uh, with that chick play? has huge tits. Sure. Yeah, and they sh they played it to everyone in high school. Was she naked in the movie? Well, she had her tits out. Was she underage? Uh, the she character was six, she was the, sixteen. The character's or, underage, but I the think actress she was sixteen. Wasn't. Okay. Oh, she's sixteen. The sixteen-year-old yeah, actress you saw boobs. So you don't remember this? I didn't see this in school. Oh, bro, that was like the greatest moment. That was the only good part of school. Right. But it's not huge like huge tits. But it's not like pornography. It's like art. Tits are not pornographic. Right. You can anyone should be able to see it's the tits human form all the time. Yeah. It doesn't matter at all. Same with the wiener. Who fucking cares? Uh, here you go. Let's watch American Beauty in high school. It was like in like 2010 for English class. Dude, they made me watch, and I didn't even realize this. We were I can't listen to it sped up. Never mind. It's sped I up. Don't I don't why. think that's sped up. What are you talking about? Is it, dude? That's just what Null sounds like. Really? Yeah. Uh, Eucalyptus stage for one says they made us watch American Beauty in high school. It was like in like 2010 for English. That's how he talks, dude. They made dude. me watch, and I didn't even realize this. No, that's sped up. That's not sped up. What are you talking about? Talk about this in the Natty thread about how it had underage nudity into it, and then someone brought up the fact that they. On, it might be like 1.1 1 .1 percent. Sixteen speed. is not underage nudity. A topless girl is not underage. Nudity. I think you just forgot that Noel's voice Juliet is this high. That had underage. No, it's sped up like it's too fast. He doesn't talk like this. I don't know, man. It just sounds like Noel to me. Into it. It was like a 1970s film, and there's like a 15 year old girl's tits in this, and 16. they showed it to us when I was in um when I was in high school. Uh, and both of the actors came out and talked about how being nude on stage was perfectly fine and they felt fine. And then they, like, came out later and said they were both, like, super mega raped by Hollywood. And then this other girl that's 16 in American Beauty, she, her, she's literally the daughter of a male and female porn star who then became a porn actress herself, I think, if I remember correctly. So it's, like, it's, it's so fucking sick. Like, Hollywood is so fucking sick. And for whatever reason, they really want to show these movies to teenagers in high school. It's crazy. Well, it is um, Romeo and Juliet. I mean, it's kind of one of the most famous. Hollywood, Italy. <laughs> it, was made in, it was made in Italy. Wasn't in it an Italian production? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone. That's the weird thing. Everyone yeah. was European. Mm. And they all, and it was like the, one of the, it was like the best. Uh, one, it was like an Academy Award winning movie Production. for Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah. that's and they showed kids because it was so good. And you happen to see a sixteen year old guy's butt and a sixteen year old girl's tits. Mm. And in high school, it's like this is amazing. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe Shakespeare's like. Tits. Can't believe Shakespeare would have uh, put this in there. Hey. Oh my god. I don't think a lot of guys are really leering over their Romeo and Juliet tape. I can't imagine that's a big problem. Uh, well, Null wants to crack down on on a seventies on a seventies production of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, because he yeah. thinks every movie that's ever made was made wanna, by Hollywood. They want to cram that down. They want to cram that. They're down putting it in the school. Roads. Yeah. Okay. So we want to show uh, ninth and tenth graders this sixteen-year-old girl's uh, tits. Yeah, that would be the worst thing That's, uh, for a 16-year-old Basically to see. making them gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and what, she's 80 years old and loved it and is dead now, but what, obviously What do these people, what, like, what does Noel believe that, like, like, should a 16-year-old not be attracted to other 16-year-olds? That's pedophilia. That's pedophilia, because you you're training be them forever to, to be attracted to 16-year-olds. You, you can only be attracted to Noel. Okay, it makes no uh, sense. Let me, I'm, I got another good Noel one. Hold on. Okay. Do, 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 Waiting do. for a printer connection. Uh, that connection is not coming. Fantastic. Uh, no. I remember there's been a lot of null nonsense going on. I know. Uh, I forgot. Kiwi Farms, I forgot is, Kiwi Farms is always coming up with some new reason to take issue with something we've done. Oh, the, uh, the big conspiracy about the end of show graphic. So at the end of the show, we always we put we our go. biggest supporters. Maybe we'll talk about that yeah. in a second. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't even see this. What? See, this is his voice. Sounds don't the, send sounds me. the same to me, man. No, don't send me sped up null shit. 
Do not send me sped up anything ever. I don't know if it was sped up. Fuck off. Do not send me sped up shit. Tell me in the chat who's sped up. Oh my god. The Dick Masterson, Dax Herrera, Daxy oh. Pad, Juju the Cow, man oh. gets fucked in the ass yeah. while dressed as a cow, and Nick Rick- <sighs> What? That's me. I'm Juju the Cow, right? Why does he seethe so much? I don't know, man. Because he's... He, cause he's because he doesn't have a life. He doesn't have anything to do. He's not making fun comedy podcasts. All he can do is complain yeah. about other people having fun. Yeah. That's all Kiwi Farms has come, become now. It's like, hey, you see, these other, again, the Josh Denny comedy special was the the most pathetic thing ever. It's like, hey, look, those guys went out to a bar and had fun. How fucking pathetic they are. You're like, what are you guys doing? Um, I know my own name. Yeah. Is that, uh, is that an own? Oh, that they dead named you? Yeah, that maybe that's like a trans thing. Yeah, well, it doesn't work on like normal, well, like they, they, normal people. Other people. Sorry, not when you normal. can't own people, you have to assume in your head that you're owning them. In other ways, where they're always like, "Did you know uh, Vino's legal first name is uh, Christopher, and he hates being called he it, hates it, and he's really upset about it. Yeah, and he's hiding from it. I'm like, no, nah, I just uh, use my middle name because uh, it's my it's grandfather. Punchier, it's my grandfather's know. name, and it's clearly a better. I don't like. There's too many Christophers. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Kata but no, you own me. Might be I'm doing a podcast, it. dude. This is the most exciting podcast that I've heard of since. Um, you and Ricardo are doing a podcast, right? Okay. It might even be better than that show where where Juju the cow talks to a pedophile wow. for two hours about uh, how much they both hate women because they're not children. Dude, okay. I can't wait. I actually didn't see this clip. Let's watch it for the first I time. He clears the mouth after he that one. He went because they're children. <laughs> What a broadcaster. He sounds like he's been like, what a broadcaster. To an machine for the first These guys time. get crazy ideas in their heads. So, 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 this is the most exciting thing I could ever do. Let's all take a look at it for the first time. You got to work on those mouth sounds. No one wants to hear that. No, just calm down and like swallow and then say what you want to say it's about cool. who's a pedophile. Yeah. We all know that you know who all the pedophiles are. I still don't get why they're mad at Nick or Kid. It makes no sense to me. I don't know. Their creator hasn't done anything. He's kind of boring when you think about it, in a good way. He's just a guy who has a family and he likes talking about law stuff. And they're like, yeah. oh, he's so totally owned. He's drinking. Oh, my yeah. God. That's, a, I, that's the worst. I don't know. I feel like Null, he thinks like that making some friendships will vault his own status and lifestyle up to another level. I don't know what Null wants. Fails him. What does he want? What would be his end goal? <laughs> to have not existed. To have never been born at all. Well, that's what Noel I think wants. Noel's original and goal was I want to be an arbiter of free speech on the internet and I want to be of you know Yeah held in high esteem. Like the great Null is helping people facilitate, you know, ideas that are too uh, outrageous for the mainstream. Yeah. But it's not like he's publishing like, you know, great scientific papers that have been censored for He can't uh, write for shit. They yeah. let him write on Zero Hedge and it was like, This is trash, man. Like this this was dated like twelve years ago. This I, is bad. I guess I'm just like, like I get wanting free speech, and I, I obviously think that has value. Yeah, it's just like, why don't you show us like something really cool you could do with it, other than taking pictures of us at a comedy show and going like, look at these fucking ass. These guys get fucked in the ass. They're. <laughs> Uh, What'd you feel fuck, kind of they pathetic? Were, they used to let me on their show, and now now they're gay, and they get fucked in the ass, and I hate them. How come you used to like them a lot? All right. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it seems like you liked them until you know. It seems like a lot of your content revolves around this. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I'm excited. Fifteen minutes? Are you fucking kidding me? Look. Okay. Oh my god. There's timestamps. No, you can, deepen your, you can deepen your so voice. Fat. Is he taking hormones? Why is um, his voice so high? Harry Oki streams. So this is for the locals. He says that he wants to start doing locals less shittily. He does sound fat. Um, as a fat, I can tell I, you. Harry Oki streams on his. Wow, awesome no, must really be as fat as I am. At this point. No, he's got to be huge. In a hot tub. Wow, that's so cool. Um, new mount for the midlife crisis car. He drove off the road as soon as he got off the lot. Cool. Theology pod. Is that a joke? I don't know, man. I don't know who watches this. Yeah, that's a lot. Cool. Wait, cool. wait, 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 wait. In a hot tub. Wow, that's so cool. Um, new mount for the midlife crisis car. He drove off the road as soon as he got off the lot. Cool. He drove off the... No, what car are you driving, buddy? 
<laughs> Do you even have a driver's he drove, license? He drove, he, 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 right, he made life crisis. He drove his car off the lot. He drove it. He drove it into a ditch. Except, so the metaphor is that he's got a. He's driving a midlife crisis, and he drove the midlife crisis into a ditch. No, what car are you driving right now, buddy? What are you driving, man? What do you got? Come on. What kind of wheels How long are you been driving? About? Yeah. Yeah. What are you driving? Like a Pujol? What are you, in Italy? Serbia? You your mama car with all that Kiwi Farms lawsuit <laughs> money? Buy mama a nice car? You got, uh, you got, you got, did you get uh, uh, Chris Chan a car? You get that Chris Chan money? Come on, buddy. I think if you're going to like talk- What are you driving? If you're talking shit about people, you have to be living like a pretty okay life. Same thing with Better PPP, than them. whose uh, tooth is now rotting out of his fucking skull trying to tell everyone else how to live their lives. It's pathetic. That's painful. <laughs> so let's let's tune into Nick Rakita. I've never been more excited about it. He's a, he's having a midlife crisis, but he bought a, a car that's a midlife crisis, and then he drove it straight out of the lot into a fucking ditch. Nick Rakita streams once a night, and he got like a huge fucking deal from Rumble, and they're Millions probably gonna they're probably gonna re up that deal because he's one of the only things working on that platform. The idea that that man is somehow owned because you have videos of him drinking alcohol in a hot tub or whatever the fuck is genuinely here's in a hot tub. Here's in a hot tub. Take a look at this. I couldn't insult Nick Rakita. I don't try to go at Nick Rakita because I go, no, he's just winning. He's just winning. Theology podcast, manhood podcast. Oh, that's what we need. We need Rakita listening to Andrew Tate. Juju podcast, this is what I want to hear. Interesting. I've been trying to convince Dick Masterson to do a podcast project with me. Mm. Um, yes, I'm in. Wait, hold on. <laughs> but I don't know if that would be under my no, no, locals no. or if it would be like uh, similar to the biggest problem where it'd be like a joint venture between he and I. And me. It would be and a Bino. joint venture and he would take the lion's share. You, you, you think that Dick is going to give you a, f a 50 50 cut of the fucking proceeds? Moron? No. Whoa, like whoa, what's that? Wait a minute. Now, now we're serious. What was that? Noel's saying that if there was a podcast, it wouldn't be split evenly. Of course, you. But being, why is he so angry about that? I don't know. Listen to that again. He's going to give you a 50 50 cut. Yeah, listen, of the listen fucking, to this. Listen the to this. Share, you so fucking idiot. You Listen can, to this. Take the lion's this share. is this is weird. You fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the biggest problem? Where it'd be like a joint venture between this. he and I. It would be a joint uh, venture, and he would take the lion's share. You so fucking idiot. You think that Dick is going to give you a, a 50 50 cut of the fucking proceeds? Moron. No. <laughs> He's going to get like eighty percent of that shit. You're going to get a pittance. Why? You don't even need the money. He's just going to pay you to fuck off and make you feel like you have a job. Anyway. Why is he so angry about? A fant Why is he so angry about a hypothetical podcast with, with me and Nick? Why I would that obviously yeah. give him half. I mean, you get half, right? Uh, Everyone had okay. So no. Why is he so angry about that? He's like, oh, you, you're so stupid that you think you would even get half. He's obviously going to take. So, so in Null's mind, I'm like so powerful and important. Well, that's that was you know when they talk what about a weird all, sick fuck. No, all these guys. What that, a gay sick fuck. Well, they're very crazy. They have all these. No, that's gay, bro. What you're saying is gay. Well, here's what they do: is they come up with a conspiracy, and then when we make fun of the conspiracy, they go, "Well, they're only making fun of us because it's true." I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying it's that's. Well, you should make fun of them because it makes literally no sense. Why would you take the lion's share out of a podcast with Nick Rakita, who has his own massive audience, which is arguably probably stronger than yours at this? Why point? Why is he spurging out about it though? Oh, you fuck! Cause you fuck! You stupid fuck! He thinks that you are like a master. He's like desperate because he to thinks convince him. He's trying to convince everyone that you are manipulating everyone around you. Like you're some sort of weird psychological mastermind who takes everybody's money and has yeah, some yeah, grand yeah. master plan. He says it with this show where he goes, well, the only reason he has Vito around is he knows that Vito will give him this appearance of blah, 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 you know, because Vito's a big... Null is not And I'm funny like, well, that makes all. sense, but it's not actually... Yeah, what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that Dick is going to give you a 50-50 cut of the fucking proceeds. Why would he not? Moron, no. He's going to get like 80% of that shit. You're going to get a pittance. He's seething. He sounds like Maddox. He's very mad. You're gonna, you think you're going to 50 You're going to get a pittance. He's taking 80%. Nick, I love you still. I love you. If you don't go with with Dick, 
I'll, I'll give you 50%. Oh, I forgot. So you were his first internet dad, and then Nick Rickett is his second internet dad, and he turns yeah. on both of his two gay dads, Yeah, and his gay dads say we're going to make a gay podcast. And he's seething about and it. And he's seething because he want, he still thinks one of the gay dads might love him again, Nick Rickett. This is It would be a joint venture, and he would take the lion's share, you fucking idiot. You think that Dick is going to give you a, a 50-50 cut of the fucking proceeds? Moron? No. So, by the way, I have, I mean, never talked to Nick about this obviously i would do a podcast with him because he's a friend of mine and yeah. he's great but null is like seething over nothing fantasy it's uh i don't know why he would care how the what money gets a split. Whack job i don't get it well does he explain why he's lecturing let's see everyone he's gonna get like 80 percent of that shit you're gonna get a pittance okay you don't even need the money he's just gonna pay you to fuck off and make you feel like you have a job okay anyway uh that's what's coming Pay you to make you feel like you have a job? Pay you to fuck off. Don't they have to make the podcast? I don't even... See, I can't even follow what these guys what are talking you? about. Yeah, and why would you team up for a podcast for you to then pay him to not do anything? Or, I, He's just going to pay you to make you feel like you have a job. Don't be a fool. Come over to back to my side. Okay, at this point, I just... Mel's panicking because he think thinks... I think he's schizophrenic. No, nothing nothing he's saying he's makes, fat i don't know if he's schizophrenic nothing he says is making any sense he is uh surrounding himself in like weird conspiracy theories that he's invented about yeah. nick masterson being an all first of all he thinks you're a billionaire who can just throw money around like crazy i mean compared to him i might as well be yeah well you got a lot more money than null but you're not run what do you think null has in the bank 70 grand I think. Well, how much did he get from that uh, donation thing? Like a hundred and like two hundred thousand dollars. He probably kept all that, and then yeah. But uh, how much do you think he has? I don't know. I don't know how he makes money. He sells. He was selling Chris He's Chan. Probably got He's selling Chris grand. Chan rape tokens until he found out that they were. I actually would love one rape. of those. I know. I wanted the medallion that uh, <laughs> Trixie's uh, cousin yeah. sadly killed themselves. But uh, one of the things they left behind was a Chris Chan medallion. And I think me and you were bidding sadly. on it. Yeah. Shut up. That's terrible. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm sorry that there was a loss, but uh, I would Me bid too. on the Christian medallion. Yeah. Coming to locals specifically, those two podcasts uh, are on my very specific list of things to do. And then also the live streams starting next month, 14 locals live streams a month. So how However, they have... This? Uh, no attachment to any particular um, rumble stream. I oh, should replace the, Vito. Um, he just. Oh wait, he m mentioned the pedophile. One. <laughs> he calls you the pedophile. He's so That's mad. So weird, He's dude. so mad that we have a show together. He's so jealous of you that he calls you a pedophile constantly. He tried to convince Medicare that you're a legit pedophile because he's so jealous that me and you do. A I show just don't together. know what he wants. He wants to be you. He you wants. He, he wants, wants to do a podcast with you. Yes, he wants to be friends with me. That we sit across from each other and banter and like have a camaraderie. Well, he kind of had that. He was coming on your show to talk shit, and it was nah. Never like he didn't. He never had a relationship like this. Yeah, he had like a call in guy. Was he a good caller? Yeah, kind of. But then he got like insane with trans shit, and Riley punked him. Riley punked him out to a degree that I've never seen anybody punked out. Ever, mm. um, and he melted down over that. And do that's I, what do I know. What is. happened? That was that the Discordian thing or something? Yeah, Riley just said like, "We don't want you around here. You're the guy that nobody uh, asked to leave the party." And Noel melted down. Over that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy that nobody wants at the party, but nobody knows how to ask to leave. Yeah, kind of seems like yeah. What he's uh... I mean, Riley. I, Riley's instincts were right. I guess I don't know. People keep telling me I'm too thin. How could I possibly replace Vito? There you you barely replace a cheek. Ha 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 ha! Dude, he's wheezing. It's funny because Vito's fat and he looks like he has AIDS. Dude, knows wheezing. It's so safe That's to make fun of the fat guy. Okay, he's doing a fat guy wheeze. Yeah, dude, he's got to weigh like 300 pounds he's right like now. Dom DeLuise. So how For can nobody get a picture when he's of this a guy? Okay, wait. And chomo, wow. Make fun of the fat guy for being fat when he's a fucking chomo. Wow. 
Oh, oh Null's upset that Nick's making fun of you for being fat when he should be making fun of you for being a pedophile. Yeah. And he's like, I think the fat jokes are just funnier. I think I think a pedophile joke brings down a stream pretty quick a lot of the times. <laughs> Yeah, it's I think not, the fat joke's a lot safer. For, yeah, and that guy who rapes kids, everyone's like, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" I think you can just go with the fat joke there. No, your comedy instincts are off. He's so listen how angry he is. Safe to make fun of the fat guy for being fat when he's a fucking chomo. Wow, it really God, he just ribs him so hard. I know it's supposed to be like a funny roast, but man, how is Vito going to take that on the chin and keep walking? It's so God, he sounds so fat. Null sounds so fucking fat and weak. Oh my God, this is pathetic. So crazy, man. So crazy. No, you are fucking gay, dude. A face cheek. So I've been meaning to do like this sort of. Okay, I want this podcast to happen because it will suck ass. Dick Masterson, you will receive this clip. Someone no, it's will- Juju. It'll do the whole thing. Yeah, like, the fucked in the ass. Like, stuff. I'm better than you, even though I'm fatter than a house. No. And don't have any money. Yeah, Clip do the it whole and send thing. it to you in Discord or whatever the fuck. I will watch and review your first episode of The Dick Show the big the biggest drunken waste piece of shit in the universe episode <laughs> he's so bad he's at banter so, oh. the biggest drunken waste Dude, he's shit like an upset mom in the universe like when you piss off your mom when you're a kid and she like starts short circuiting he had the lead up to like a good burn the biggest the bi- and then he said uh, piss waste piss, shit piss waste <laughs> shit the biggest shit the biggest shit i ever took this can't be that hard One. I will review episode one and only episode one. This is my commitment to you. Make this happen. Review um, the super no, no one, again, no one please, cares, no. man. Yeah, funny. just do what, do whatever. That was for good. Literally, no one cares. Thank Make you. Make fun no. of him as hard as possible. Call him a cuckold. Um, rib on him. Me? Tell him about his unlicensed you actually, reference material. Uh, make him angry. If you actually make this man angry, like drunk, like uh, seething through the alcohol. Uh, I will applaud you, and I will manage to not call you Daxy Pad Juju the Cow Man and gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow for for a. He wants you to make Nick Ricada mad. This is the truth. This sounds schizophrenic. I have no idea what he's talking about. A Juju. I have no idea what he's talking about. You don't get fucked in the ass. I think that he's legitimately losing his grasp on reality. Like he's not making sense. Because first he's saying Nick Ricada, you're going to get ripped off by Dick. Yeah. So, so don't so don't do anything wait, with wait, him. Wait, but wait. I, actually, I want it. Hold on. He's so he's on Nick's side there. He's saying, Nick, you're going to get taken advantage of. Yeah. And he ends it with saying, I will give you money if you make Nick Ricada angry, and and I'll review it, and but I'll only one it. episode. And you get fucked in the ass. No, you got to stop thinking about me getting fucked in the ass, man. I it's kind of gay. Think schizophrenia. This sounds. So it's weird. sounding gay, bro. It's sounding fat and it's sounding gay. I think he needs to get a car. It sounds like it sounds like you're breathing through your teeth, buddy. It's very bizarre. It's very strange. <sighs> I can't wrap my head around these clips. I don't even know what to say because I don't know what he's thinking. Nick Ricada goes, I, I might do a podcast with Dick Masterson. Oh, oh, okay. How okay. is that okay. something to get upset well, about? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? You'd say, "Oh, that would probably suck. Those guys suck." And that's it. That's he the sounds thing like a renowned. He, ta- he sounds like Sturgis. He sounds like, like renowned Sturgis. zero. Yeah, he sounds fucked. Just go. Those guys are gay. I look forward to their gay podcast. That's it. You got. I th- love thinking about them getting fucked in the that's ass. That's the most you can get out of that. Instead, he goes into. He's going to review it, and you're going to take all the money. Wow. What a fucking Do you think if Dick was taking all the money, I would be in charge of sorting out the show's finances? <laughs> do you think he would? Do you think that makes any sense at all? If Dick is this master manipulator, that he would say, "Yeah, Vito, just figure out what you owe me and get, write me a check." I, man, I don't want to. I don't. The fact that you th- trust me with that is frankly insane. I go, okay, well, good. You know, here's all the numbers. Make sure to check them. But uh, the idea that it's like idea- about money, like I don't want to big league anybody. But if I did a show with Nick, it, like it wouldn't be about the money. It no, it'd be, be about, about hanging fun. out once a week. Yeah, the money would be good, but. Nick, you're gonna get destroyed. He's gonna take all the money and he's gonna pay you to fuck off. Blah, it's gonna be gay and blah. He's juju and get in. Okay. Null's gay, man. Null's fucking gay. Null is a hundred percent gay, and he's thinking about he's thinking about guys getting fucked in the ass way too much. He's he sh- talking he about guys getting fucked yeah. in the ass way too much. I think you would be happier if he took up an interest like uh, painting model trains or anything or other guys. than obsessing sucking over guys grown cocks. men on the internet for some reason. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Well, that was null. 
Here you our go. Our good friend. Sorry. And uh, sorry for delaying. The and, show. and frankly, if any Kiwi Farms people are upset that we're going to be at Hackamania, I hate to say it, kill yourselves. No one really wants the Kiwi Farms people at anything. You guys are insufferable. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys are just losing too many good people. Cancel like, your VIP tickets so some biggest problem be fans can buy. Now you guys are all like, F just have fun on the internet. We're making comedy. What do you fucking care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquavis for body. two. Who else is picking the cotton candy, Vito? Yeah, that's a good Loudy. That's a good Oompa Loompa joke. Disciple of Dagger for two. Australian Dick make Vito do the thug shaker. Don't know what that is. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.